Zinc is a mineral. Right. Why do we need it in our bodies? Well, zinc is uh, involved in about 300 enzyme systems. Magnesium is wow. involved in about 400. So both of these are very, very uh, critical minerals. Zinc is very important for the immune system function. It's important for skin healing, uh, eye health, uh, you know, also for male prostate. We talked about selenium in the prostate. Zinc is also very, very important for the health of the male prostate, mm -hmm. as well as testicles and, and things such as that. But uh, zinc uh, and immune system go hand in hand. In fact, uh, people who don't get enough zinc typically will be much more prone to catch anything goes around, when it, whether it be a flu or a cold or what have you. Mm -hmm. So people, people that notice that they catch everything right. are probably having a problem with their zinc. What's a good source of zinc? Well, you know, the only place you really get a good amount of zinc in, in your diet mm -hmm. is from uh, things like beef and, okay. and uh, pork. Uh, and those have their zinc present in chelated form. Uh, however, you know, in the USDA research, they show that a good percentage of the United States population is deficient in zinc. So if you're, you know, worrying about, you mm -hmm. know, not having enough zinc in your body and in your diet, uh, the zinc uh, glycine chelate from Alpian would be a good suggestion. Uh, take 12 to 15 milligrams of the uh, zinc a day in that form and you don't have to worry. Can you get too much zinc and what would be the consequences? Well, you can get too much zinc. You have to take quite a bit on a regular basis to get too much. Mm -hmm. But the, the big thing that happens when you take too much zinc is it can cause deficiencies in things like z copper. And when you cause a copper deficiency, you get a certain form of blood anemia, mm -hmm. which you'll end up being a little bit tired and things such as that. Uh, you basically, uh, to prevent that, you probably, if you take a higher dose zinc, right. because you feel you have that need, then you probably should take a little bit of copper in your supplement as well. Does it affect calcium too? Well, z it won't if it's a chelate. Okay. If it's a salt form like uh, zinc sulfate and mm -hmm. you're taking calcium carbonate, you're going to have antagonism between these two. If you're taking chelated forms, you don't have the antagonism. So that would be the best form to take. Right. right. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm.